Good evening, friends. Today I'm going to show you how you can install Node.js uh, on your AWS EC2 instance. So Node.js is a very popular now and uh, using React, a lot of people are making these uh, applications, cool applications. It's really fast, asynchronous and um, <coughs> a lot of companies are trying to use Node.js now and <coughs> I see there is not that much um, documentation available for Node.js, how to use or how to install on AWS. So I thought maybe let's create a uh, video on this and I have created an article as well. So you can see the article, copy the commands and install it. That's it. So um, this is my article on Node.js and Amazon Linux 2. What I have to do is to create an instance and then run these commands. Easy, right? Let's go to this. I'm the Linux 2. That's the one that I'm going to use. I will stay within the free tier, which is T2 Micro. It is one virtual CPU and one gig of RAM. Let's go to next. Uh, I am role is to SSM. Next. Attacks. Next. Web server, review and launch, continue, launch, I have this PPK file, so uh, that's it, I have uh, created that instance. <coughs> now what I'm going to do is uh, go to systems manager and then connect to that instance using systems manager. If you don't know about systems manager, it's an AWS service, it's free. You can use this to connect to your EC2 instance. It's more convenient for me to use Systems Manager rather than Putty. I'm on Windows, so it's easy. I don't have to whitelist any IP addresses to access this. It's really good. I just wait till my instance is starting. If it's started, then we just connect to that started let's go to uh, systems manager start a session um, still not probably 100% uh, up yet I mean all not all the services are up yet so you have a uh, systems manager agent that runs on your uh, EC2 instance and uh, probably that one is still not up so that's why you don't see this let's refresh Systems Manager agent is working and we are going to start the session. So uh, let me copy the commands. It's pretty simple. I will use curl. If you don't have curl, then install curl. If you have curl, then just copy this line and uh, come here. Okay. What I'm going to do before copy, just I'm going to switch to user is to user sudo receive I'm going to go to root first and from root to ECT user because I am connected from this uh, systems manager so they have a users SH systems manager user but I'm going to go to ECT user that's what everyone uses SU uh, EC2 user go to the home directory Sorry. Okay. Uh, that's it then I'm going to paste the command and run it. Okay, it is running. Then um, I just need to run this command. Load the NVM. Press enter. That's it, NVM is done. Now oh, verify whether NVM is up and running. Let's clear this screen too much text then uh, there is a command here command minus v nvm it should output nvm if it's installed properly it is then i'm going to install node 11. simple nvm install 11. that's pretty simple you just copy and paste and press enter and in this process you will install node 11 and uh, it will be a default because there is no node versions available so currently default is 11 and your current version is also 11 
what is by meaning default is uh, if you stop this instance and start it again the version that you are going to start with is your default version for example if I have 10 11 12 and 12 is my default or 10 is my default then if I reboot my instance and start again then I will see uh, node 10 is the current version on the terminal I can always switch to a different version if I want then that will be uh, the active version unless I close the terminal and restart again that it changes so that being said uh, we are still waiting for the installation I think it's almost done that's it so you can see uh, default 11 uh, so I'm going to uh, check the node version node minus a it's 11.15 that's correct now I'm going to install node 12 npm install 12 very simple right npm install 12 that's it it's three words three magic words which installs everything okay uh, this is faster because I already have node 11 just install 12 it's doing well let's just wait there installing doesn't mean activating and I will show you just be patient that I have installed 11 I have installed 12 and if I just run the command node minus V I will get uh, version 11 because that's the active version so you can have multiple versions but one version can be active at a time so let's say I cannot have uh, 11 and 12 both active at a time that's not possible I have to either 11 or 12 so how do we do that node uh, minus p and it says oh, sorry it's uh, it's been switched to 12 okay. and now um, 12 is the active version sorry it, because I installed it so 12 is the active version then I'm going to um, shut it down and connect again let's see what happens then start the session again and uh, let's see what is the different version again I'm going to go to root and then from root I'm going to go to EC2 user that's it uh, and switch to EC2 user now I'm going to check the node version what is the node version here yeah. it's 11 so you see I have switched to node uh, 11 that was I installed node 12 that was active on that particular moment but my default node is default node version is 11 so I when I reconnect I get 11 so how do I solve it how can I make node 12 is the default node so the command is simple I just uh, copy this command in VM alias default 12 copy and then uh, that's it now default is 12 if I run uh, node minus V I still uh, default 12 I still need to uh, NVM use uh, 12 V. Okay, so <clears throat> I just need to run NVM use 12, node minus V is now 12. Now um, I can also switch NVM use 11 and then uh, my node version will be changed to 11. Okay. You see, my node version is 11 and my default is 12. So if I shut it down, my connection and start the session again. And if I go to that user, uh, so we are save, save EC to user, and then I'm going to uh, run node minus P, and it's 12. You see, so we have different versions, 
in our system we can switch using node use we can install using NBM install and then we can make a default version so that even if we reconnect that version is the default version so these are the basics of uh, how to install uh, node.js on your Amazon Linux I hope this helps you to get started and uh, if there is any questions you can put comments in the video and please subscribe to my channel I will create more videos tutorials like this so that you can succeed in your career thank you have a nice day bye